Zealand born civil engineer Archibald Milne Hamilton has his place in the history books on a number of scores. It was he who designed the Singapore Naval Base. Came up with an easy to construct aeroplane hangar. The Scottish Museum is still housed in one. Portable bridges called Calendar Hamiltons were another one of his. These were employed by the British Army and due to their low cost and easy construction made their way around the globe. Despite being temporary bridges, their sturdiness meant there's still plenty of examples about today. Here's one in the Netherlands. England Madagascar There's even one in Kurdistan Yes, Kurdistan It was Hamilton himself that oversaw its very construction in the 30s Archibald Hamilton's most lasting contribution is the road that still bears his name. Built between 1928 and 1932, the Hamilton Road, running from Erbil, Kurdistan, to Rwandus on the Iranian border, is still considered to be an engineering masterpiece. But before we shoot ahead here, We'd better get our bearings. The roading project was commissioned by the British, who at the time had a mandate over Iraq at the end of World War I and the fall of the Ottoman Empire. The contrast between Hamilton's hometown of Waimati in Kurdistan of the 30s could not have been more stark. Even today, this region is considered remote. Add to this mountainous terrain, warring factions, language barriers, shortages of equipment, logistical issues, the weather, and Hamilton often been in sole charge of large gangs of workers. It was little wonder the 150 kilometres took four years to construct. On his return to London in 1934, Hamilton penned a book about his adventures. With chapters entitled Blood Feuds, Forts on the frontier and treasure vaults of ancient kings, it became a bestseller. It is still a great read today. It's certainly on my bookshelf. What I've done from here on in, as best I can, is juxtapose the photos taken from Hamilton's book, Road Through Kurdistan, with contemporary scenes. For added effect, I've got some quite cool Arabic music playing in the background as well. So you can sit back and get to know why Archibald Milne Hamilton is better known in Kurdistan and Iraq than in his home country of New Zealand.
incredible photos and amazing scenery, I'm sure you will agree. I truly hope this video goes some small way to placing Hamilton's contribution front and centre to the world, but in particular, Kiwis. His story is a wee bit like the one of Louise Sutherland, which I've covered. I've just put that up in front of you, so have a look at that one as well. Her story is equally incredible and um, relatively unknown. Your subscription to this channel is greatly appreciated and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye for now.